Hello Show War Games, my name is Manuel Sockway and this is my playtest of your guys' build for Gravity Grind, currently on Unreal Engine 5.3. Oh, excuse me. One thing I'll say for certain is the menu screens are great. They're all functional and stylish. And are surprisingly, at least as of right now, pretty I don't fast. But you could probably work on performance a bit because it is oh, somewhat stuttering. Hmm. The settings are actually functional, which is actually pretty impressive. Though I think you're oh, okay, there are the other options. Okay. But I think next time you should probably just have these things set on the lowest setting to highest. Because sometimes people's builds cannot process the highest options. Since this will allow your build to be played by a variety of people. But congrats on having functioning menus. One thing I'll say for certain is that I feel like these should all have sound effects. Like a whole turning or cyber sound effect showing working with the cool transition. But besides that, the menus are pretty great. Controls look very simplistic, which is good. Drift is mouse key, pause is P. I feel like drift should have been shift or something else. As I don't really think tying to the mouse is very optimal for gameplay. And now, let's on to the main event. Okay, now that's a good level slider. Start game. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Um, racing feels good, but it's a bit too fast. You should probably slow that down. Unless that's what the drift's for, but still, I feel like you kind of made it a bit too fast. Yeah, that is. It's fun, but yeah, definitely slow it down a bit. Collisions a bit wanky, but works. I feel like instead of it just stopping the player, you should make it to where it bounces them off to kind of keep the gameplay going. Okay. And also, I think you guys should have probably a proper reverse button too, because you guys only have forward functions. Okay. Besides that, the actual level itself is great, the track's a good design. Again, I just really... Okay, wow. Yeah, I think you guys really should just tone down the speed and probably fix that unless it's supposed to float. And... Megator Collision just bounces back off the vehicle. Okay, yeah, I think the floating's supposed to happen. I think... No. Wow. That is something. Um... Okay, I think I'm gonna have to actually resume the level. Oh, okay. Pause doesn't work. That's wonderful. Um, yeah. Definitely improve collision, though. As I feel like that's gonna definitely prevent these issues. And tone down the race speed. Okay. I assume this track allows me to get back on the track. Yeah, that's good. This is what I should get back on the track. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Move forward. Okay. And boop. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah. Okay, pretty straightforward. Again, your biggest issue is really just tone down to you just need some sound effects for your menu, slow down the speed of the player character. Probably change drifting to shift or some other button as I don't think mouse is very effective for it. And besides that though, you guys actually have something special here. And also collision for the walls so it just bounces the car back and a reversal button. Since as you can see you can't move in reverse. And I'm pretty sure most racing games, especially nowadays, have that for their games by default to help out with track positioning. Okay, whoa. 
besides that, this is a very solid build with some improvements here and there that can definitely be made. So, without further ado, that's my playtest. I hope it was very informative, and I wish the rest of you guys a nice rest of your day.